Most automatic transmissions use epicyclic or planetary gears. They are constantly in mesh with each other. The basic planetary gear set consists of three main components, a sun gear, a carrier with planetary pinions mounted to it, and an internally toothed ring gear. The sun gear meshes with planet gears also called planet pinions. The planet pinions in sets of three or more, rotate on bearings on hardened steel pins on a planet carrier, which spaces the pinions equally around the sun gear. The planet pinions also mesh with an internally teeth ring gear. This means the planet pinions are always in mesh with the sun gear and the ring gear. When two external gears are in mesh, they will rotate in opposite directions. When an external gear is in mesh with an internal gear, they will rotate in the same direction. Simple planetary gear set can illustrate how to control individual members to produce a particular output or neutral. Planetary gear set has two inputs and one output. The planet pinions operate in two different ways. They can operate as idler. When the carrier is held stationary, the pinions rotate on their own shaft and can be used to transfer drive. They can walk around the sun gear, or the ring gear, when it is held stationary, taking the carrier with them. Now let's see what happens to the output when we apply different inputs. If the ring gear is not held and rotation is applied to the sun gear, the planet pinions are idle on their stationary carrier pins and turn the ring gear in the opposite direction. This free rotation of the gears provides neutral no drive is transmitted to the planet carrier. If the ring gear is held and rotation is applied to the sun gear, the planet pinions are forced to turn and walk around the ring gear. This action causes the planet carrier to revolve at a lower speed than the sun gear. If the sun gear is held and rotation is applied to the ring gear, the planet pinions will walk around the sun gear. This causes the planet carrier to turn slower than the ring gear in the same direction. If the sun gear is held and rotation is applied to the planet carrier, the planet pinions will walk around the sun gear. This causes the ring gear to turn faster than the planet carrier in the same direction. By holding the planet carrier and driving the sun gear, the planet pinions are forced to rotate about their pins. This causes them to drive the ring gear in a reverse direction at a reduced speed.
When any two members of the gear set are locked together, planetary action is stopped. Under these conditions, the gear set will revolve as a solid unit. The simple gear set illustrates basic principles, it can't obtain all the ratios required. In practice compound planetary gear sets are used. A typical automatic transmission has two or more planetary gear sets, multi-stage structures, connected together to provide the various gear ratios needed to efficiently move a vehicle. A Simpson gear set has two simple gear sets connected by a long sun gear common to both gear sets. The sun gear is free to rotate on the output shaft. The rear ring gear and the front planet carrier are splined to the output shaft. The input shaft is separate from the gear set. The drive is transmitted through one or more clutches depending on the gear and range engaged. ZFE Calife has three planetary gear sets. The three gear sets have the following rigid links. Sun gear of gear set 1 is connected to the clutch's carrier body, which is connected to the turbine shaft. Ring gear of gear set 1 is the hub of multi-disc brake D. Planetary carrier of gear set 1 is rigidly connected to the ring gear of gear set 2. Sun gears of gear sets 2 and 3 are rigidly connected to the input shaft, which is connected to the hub of multi-disc clutch A. Planetary carrier of gear set 2 is rigidly connected to the ring gear of gear set 3, and connected to the hub of multi-disc clutch B. The output shaft is a part of planetary carrier of gear set 3.